Hey guys, this is Coach Bill with uh, Fat Loss Made Easy. Hope you guys are doing great today. Uh, today is Wonderful Friday. Okay, let's see. Let's talk about um, a topic that um, seems to be out there a lot. Um, a lot of your top uh, health coaches or uh, nutritionists who are very active in doing uh, blogs or YouTubes uh, actually do talk a lot about uh, this particular topic. And the topic is the most, uh, the root cause to belly fat for seniors, men and women. Um, the topic is based on what is causing, uh, what is causing belly fat to the older uh, generation and why is it so hard to get off? And there's been a lot of, uh, there's all kinds of research on it, of course, and there's all kinds of research on um, how to reverse it also. And so there's a lot of us that do talk about it. Now, uh, my courses and my packages are basically based on reversing uh, the root cause to why people are overweight. And also, this all jumps into the uh, root cause of why people have type 2 diabetes, um, even the young generation as well. And so, if you go, how do we, how do we know, or, or do we know what the root cause is to uh, belly fat or obesity or even type 2 diabetes? And yes, we do know that. And the uh, root cause is basically what science calls insulin resistance. That is the root cause. And so in order to get the results you're looking for, if you're looking to lose that belly fat, and this is for uh, any age out there, is you got to take control of the hormone that is uh, causing insulin resistance. You can do all the cardio you want, you can do all the exercising you want, and you can do all the diet restriction or restricting or uh, calories, restricting your calories if you're not losing the weight fast enough. You can do all that stuff and none of that's going to help you lose your belly flat. None, none of it is. You've got to control the hormone that's causing it. And so, you know, if you go out to a family event, a large family event, or if you go to a large gathering at either a uh, water park or down to the beach or wherever, all you have to do is look around. Look around at the young and the old and men and women also, and you can see that uh, belly fat is an ep epidemic. And um, I don't think I've, I don't really think I've heard it called that yet. Uh, today is my non-fasting day, but I did fast for 19 hours. I am breaking my fast today with a, uh, my fat bone broth coffee. Um, I'm planning to have my first meal about two o'clock. I think uh, it depends upon hung hungry or not. So anyway, so you can see yourself just by looking around that there is a major issue in belly fat in the young and old. And people, even though a lot of health professionals and nutritionists are warning people about the side effects of insulin resistance, People obviously don't seem to think it's a concern and they don't realize that there are major medical side effects to long-term insulin resistance, especially when it comes to obesity and type 2 diabetes. Now, I don't know if you guys have heard this yet, but it's been on the news. Uh, just a couple of days ago, I, I heard it again that... Um, 80% of the elderly that have died from uh, COVID-19 were obese 
and also had an underlying medical issue known as type 2 diabetes. And because of the lockdown in the last year and a half or so, I've noticed that type 2 diabetes and belly fat has jumped sky high. And it's all due to a hormone that has been um, out of control. Because what is that? What is, what's the uh, root cause to insulin resistant? Well, most of the time it is food driven. So the question is, can this be reversed? And the answer is absolutely yes, it can be. The problem is you just have to recognize the root cause, which is a hormone known as insulin that is designed to uh, store body fat when you have overeaten carbohydrates and sweets or you're eating multiple, multiple carbohydrate meals per day. Okay. So you also have to recognize that the root cause to insulin resistant is mostly d due to the types of foods um, you guys are consuming and how many meals you're consuming per day. So that is the root cause to the belly fat. So if you are one of those that are looking to lose that belly fat because you've, um, you've got it <laughs> basically, then you need to recognize the root cause first before you can actually reverse it. And you got to understand what insulin resistance is and how it causes uh, belly fat. And then you have to recognize, okay, what's causing the insulin resistance itself. And I just told you that it's actually the types of foods you're eating, um, how often you're eating the food, and also the time you're, you're, you're eating. And so let's go ahead and let's see what uh, insulin resistant means. And I'm going to take a definition out of one of the medical sites known as WebMed. And I'm going to read you exactly what it says. Now, this one was published in, in June uh, 2021. And this is, what, this is what they're saying insulin resistance is. Insulin resistance is when cells in your muscles, fat and liver, don't respond well to insulin and can't use glucose from your blood for energy. To make up for it, your pancreas makes more insulin over time. Your blood sugar levels go up. What they're saying is, is that when you're consuming a large amount of carbohydrates throughout the day, multiple times, the carbohydrates you're consuming are converted into glucose. Well, your cells can only handle so much glucose, your trillion cells. So the insulin that your pancreas is, is uh, producing is what we call the key to open up your cell to let the glucose that's in your blood right into the cell, okay? And then from the cell, it's then converted into energy so you can operate throughout the day. Now, what's happening though, what's causing insulin resistance is that people uh, have, people have changed their, you know, 30 or 40 years ago, people went to the Amer American Standard Diet, which is high carbs, low fats. And so they've been consuming high carb meals for dec decades and, they're, and the American people overeat typically anyway. And so you are eating high carb meals or snacking on high carbs or snacking on sweets that are also converted into glucose multiple times throughout the day. So you're overrunning your blood with glucose and your body is trying to, is producing more insulin 
to try to uh, get that glucose from the blood, because the blood is got is so consumed in it, into the cell. Well, the trillion cells in, in your body can only handle so much. And by overrunning your blood with glucose, your cells are getting full. So what's happening is, is that the cell is locking the door and it's not letting the key, which is insulin, open the door to let more glucose in. So what is happening to the glucose that cannot get it in the cell? Well, it's being dumped right back into your blood again. And that is what's causing insulin resistance because the cells are resistant against ins insulin. And now your blood is overran with sh sugar which is causing major, major inflammation in the body. So the body needs to uh, combat that. And how is the body doing that? It's taken that excess, that excess sugar, glucose in your blood, and putting it into fat cells. And if you run out of fat cells and you still have a lot of sugar in the blood, then the body is going to make more new fat cells and that's why people as they age are getting heavier and fatter and fatter and fatter. Now one of the major side effects to this obviously is going to be type 2 diabetes and a fatty liver. Okay so let's finish off what uh, what WebMed has defined uh, what is insulin resistance. On the next paragraph they stated insulin resistance syndrome includes a group of problems like obesity, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, which is the bad cholesterol. You have to understand there's prob there's actually three types of cholesterol. You have your, your good HDL, you have your good LDL, and then you have your bad cholesterol particles. Most all blood tests do not check for the bad cholesterol particle. So when the doctor is telling you your cholesterol is high, chances are he's wrong. Now if you're doing a higher fat diet, you're going to have higher fat in your blood and that's okay because it's not the particle cholesterol. There's three special tests you have to take in order to find out where your levels of bad cholesterol particles are. So let me finish what WebMed says here. To make up for it, okay, I'll just reread it. Insulin resistance syndrome includes a group of problems like obesity, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and type 2 diabetes. It could affect as many as one in three Americans. This is including the young kids. Now, the kids, even at younger ages, are now becoming di diabetic. You might also hear it now, it's also being called metabolic syndrome, which is a serious medical issue, guys. So, those of you that those of you that know somebody that, ha that has a uh, large belly or belly fat, what they're doing is they're conditioning their bodies to enter an environment that over time may cause medical issues, especially for the seniors out there. Those of you that are 60, 70, 80 plus, you need to get rid of that belly fat. You need to change your lifestyle and you need to change it to a lifestyle that's been around for 2000 years and it's backed by tons of science. And it's been working for decades. But I just don't understand why people don't take this more seriously when it comes to belly fat. Now, the other part of the uh, web med description of what is insulin resistance is, section uh, right below it, 
it says, what is the main cause of insulin resistance? Now, this is what they're saying. Of course, there's other factors involved, but this is the main factor that they are saying. Obesity being uh, significantly overweight and belly fat, all three of them. An inactive lifestyle and a diet high in carbohydrates are the primary causes of insulin resistance. And insulin resistant is mostly food driven. That's what the medical sites are saying insulin resistance is. So the next time you guys go out to a large gathering or to a concert or to a water park with uh, just or just to the beach, look around and you will see for yourself that belly fat in the young and old is running rampant right now. And it's all due to the fact of the American standard diet. And it's all, most all of it, almost all of it is due to the high consumption of processed starchy carbs and multiple sweets and the time the people are eating. Because how, I mean, how many of you or know somebody that likes to snack at night before they go to bed on cereals? on carbohydrates. I mean, how in the world are you going to try to lose weight if you're doing that? You're not. And like I said, you can do all the cardio you want. You can restrict your intake of calories all you want. And that's not going to help you lose that belly fat. You absolutely have to recognize the root cause, which is insulin. You have to absolutely the, uh, recognize what is causing your insulin to spike up so high for so long period of time. And once you recognize that and are educated on that, you will understand how to reverse it. And really guys, if you do it right, and you have the right tools and you follow the right uh, meal plans and you follow the right protocol for your time eating, it doesn't really take that long. And your body will naturally revert from being a, from, uh, being a carb craving body, you're craving carbs, to a fat craving body. That's what you're looking for. You're looking to reverse, you're, you're, reverse, you're looking to get away from craving carbohydrates as your main source of fuel. And once you do do that, those cravings of carbs and sugars, they will eventually go away. But it takes work, consistency, and the right mindset in order to do that. But that, guys, is the root cause of your belly fat insulin resistance. You're in insulin resistance. So good news, you could reverse it. Bad news, if you don't, somewhere down the line, most likely you'll get some kind of a medical major issue. And there's multiple, multiple issues that you can put yourself into. So um, if you want know if you want more information on how to reverse that you can go to my uh, fat loss made easy facebook group page join it i've actually got a free book in there that's uh, uh on the be beginner's mistakes when they uh try to lose weight i also have a free book in there for those of you that have uh, type 2 diabetes who are looking to lower blood sugar it gives you an idea how to do it uh, you can also uh, contact me by email. Uh, go to bill at billmaverycoaching.com and uh, I'll give you more information about our courses and our packages. And of course, you can go to my YouTube channel, type in Bill Mabry, subscribe to it, and there's different training videos there also. Okay, guys? So guys, I hope you got some value out of this and I hope you fully understand now that... Um, 
you need to get control of a certain hormone. You know, that hormone actually, when it's out of control, it causes many other hormones out of control also. And once you get that hormone under control, you will also get the other hormones in control. And actually you're gonna be able to spike your growth hormones for those of you that are seniors who are looking to slow premature aging. And for those seniors out there that are looking to add lean muscle mass, it's all about keeping that growth hormone spiked up all the time. And if you're doing carbohydrate meals multiple times a day, your growth hormones, they're gonna most likely be tanked most all day, okay? Well guys, like I said, I hope you saw some value in this. We're gonna see you guys at the next video. Have a great day.